Hey there. Come on in, Holly. Good morning, Maka TikTok. Good morning, Tom Cerner. Good morning, Gone Christopher. Good morning, Boxer. Good morning, business lady and Dustin. Hello, Maka TikTok. I wonder what Maka TikTok's all about. Hello, come Thank you for the compliment. I need one early on a Monday morning. Good morning, Diamond Dave. Good morning, Frank Lawler. Good morning, Christian. Good morning, Sexy Angel. Good morning, you tell me. Good morning, Adventure. Good morning, Warm Dia. Johnny Crespo. Pearl Anna. Mo Fuentes. Yvonne or Yvonne. And Cubby Bear, thank you sending for sending me likes. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you guys. My dog Holly is sitting there. She's super excited because I'm full of energy this morning. And uh, thank you all for joining. Holly, you get down. We've already gone for a long walk, Holly. You know better. Oh, she wants me to sit down and talk to my phone so I can pet her while I'm doing it. Good morning, Rebecca. Good morning, Trey. Good morning, RCA. And Adult. And User. I love when users join. And Rachel. And Ron Randolph. Thank you all so much for joining. My name is Ken Tracy, and this is Coffee with Ken. This is a little show I started quite, hello, Mark Baseball. I started quite some time ago, a show that uh, it's about me talking and sharing some feelings I'm going through. Sharing the ups and downs we have in life. <laughs> the highs, the lows, the emotions, the feelings, everything that makes humans humans and me me. And for some reason, I was given two helpings of emotions and feelings and things. <laughs> and in a lot of ways, that's great. In a lot of ways, I'm blessed. I mean, I'm blessed in every way. I mean, not every way. I mean, sometimes, some things are hard. But in a lot of ways, that's really, really good. But, you know, uh, I think sometimes in life you struggle when you feel your emotions as much as I do. I laugh, I cry, I get angry every day. <laughs> every day. You know, and I, I think when you're like that, you need to be very careful of the humans you hang out with in life. And for most of my life, I wasn't careful. I would go, hey, there's a human. Let me go talk to that human. Hey, there's another human. Let me go talk to that human. Let's make them like me. Let's get along with that person. And you come up on some people and they're kind of ornery. And instead of me walking the other direction away from the ornery person, I'll go, hmm, let me see how I can make this ornery person like me. And it's, uh, you can't change people. You can't, hello, Keith. You can't change people. Uh, if you try, it's called codependency. And I think all my life I've struggled with codependency. Thank you for following the host, Nancy Jane. That's a long last name. I can't even say that word. But, uh. Anyway, I'll get to all that. For those that have been watching a while, you know it's a show about me talking. But it's also a show about me sharing my love of coffee. And, hey, thank you so much for following the host. I don't know why my page is growing really quickly right now. We surround ourselves with people who live, uplift us. Yeah, it's amazing. It's amazing. And I've said it before. Most people like me. Most people do. If I'm in a room of 20 people, 16 of them really like me, two are probably indifferent, and two hate me. <laughs> and I, instead of hanging out with the 16 and partying or ignoring the two indifferent, it's all, uh, no, 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 it's not our turn to be the uplifter. That's a recipe for disaster, Mary. That is a recipe, a burden that is not ours to take. I couldn't disagree with you more, Mary. It got me in my last marriage. I wanted to be an uplifter. I wanted to uplift her. 
didn't work. I promise you, it's a bad recipe for disaster. Yes, I do golf. I do golf. Or I used to golf. I used to golf a lot. Uh, I used to be a stockbroker. Good morning, Art in Ohio. Uh, I used to golf a lot. I used to be a stockbroker and probably play like three times a week. And uh, 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 it got okay. I was never great. Yeah, you know, you know, I believe, I try, I mean, I think, watch this, watch this video. I think you'll find it uplifting. Uh, no, any new listings? No. Uh, no, I appreciate the likes. Hold on, for, this is a show about me talking, as you know. But it, for those who have been watching a while, you know it is a show about me sharing my love of coffee. And with that in mind, I brewed this pot about 5.45 this morning. I haven't had any in about the last hour. I'm going to bring you into my little... Holly. Somebody has been bad. Somebody chewed up something and she normally doesn't chew it. Not real bad. I mean, I've already cleaned it up. Not super bad. But she usually doesn't chew up anything. I'll tell you, Art, in Ohio... Anyway, I'm coming at you from Naperville, Illinois. It's a town of about 150,000 people, about 35 miles west of Chicago. I live in one of the smallest homes in Naperville. It's a two-bedroom, one-bath ranch uh, with a fenced-in yard. I live here with my beautiful dog and have my, uh, I have four children, uh, and I have them here as often as I can. And it's a perfect little home for me, my dog, and my kids when I have them. And I'm fortunate to have found it. I am blessed in life. And I'm thirsty for some coffee. Let me have a seat. Can you guys see me okay? Let's have the light. I'm going to check out my lighting. I'm going to check out my lighting. Oh, the lighting's real good. The lighting's real good. This is my dog, Holly. She gets very excited every morning when I talk to my phone. Uh, yeah, I like Chicago. It's... I'll tell you what, I've done a lot of traveling in my life. I don't go to Chicago much these days. Uh, I would say it's very safe. I would say it's safe. You know, yeah, you don't want to go into horrible areas that are not safe. I mean, there's bad parts. There's probably bad parts of every decent-sized city. Uh, but I think a lot of what you hear on the news is a little bit overblown. You know, yeah, there's people... I mean, it's sad. There's people in the... Some areas of town that, I mean, there's people that get shot and killed every day, but it's a town of, you know, I don't know, 5 million people or something like that. And there's some, you know, tough areas. You know, Chicago's great. I'm just, hold on, hold on. You guys got me talking. <laughs> anyway, I haven't had any coffee in about an hour. And uh, uh, I'm excited to have my sip. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, um, I hope you guys got some hot coffee in front of you as well. Us. Mm. Uh. Mm. It's the Starbucks pumpkin spice, and it's good. It's good. It's real good. I'm gonna have another sip. Mm. Oh, yeah. Back to Chicago, real quickly. Uh, I've done a lot of traveling or had done a lot of traveling when I was a little younger, when I used to golf all the time and would be on cruises or whatever and meeting people from all over. And a lot of people, I think Chicago's one of the coolest, uh, I hope so, Keith, no snow in the forecast. I think Chicago's one of the neatest big cities. You know, I'm biased. Uh, I lived there from like 1990 to 2002 in the city and, uh, it's weird. I haven't really gone back a ton in the last 20 years. Occasionally I'd visit. Uh, I, uh, occasionally I'll still visit. But I, when I go back, I feel like a tourist, which is so weird. Which is so weird. Home is in Naperville, Illinois, which is, again, like 35 miles from Chicago. And it's just weird going to a place that I called home or felt like home. And I knew the train stops and the bus stops and the stores. And the I felt like an urbanite. I felt cool, hip. I probably was cool and hip. I don't know if I was cool and hip. I had some money and I was drunk. Uh, 
And I used to go out and party a lot in the city uh, and worked as a stockbroker. I don't know if that made me cool or hip. I probably walked around in more expensive clothes and drove a more expensive car. Uh, but I don't know that I was cool and hip. Maybe it's because we're older now. Yeah, Mike, maybe that's it. Maybe that's it. Maybe there's nothing wrong. Maybe it's just, it was a part of my past and it's, I'm glad I lived there. I'm glad I lived there and uh, uh, I enjoyed my time. I did the things I wanted to do. Uh, I had the experiences. I went to the bars. I went to the fancy restaurants. I wore the nice suits and the nice ties and the fancy shoes. But maybe, perhaps, uh, that's just not who I am anymore. Good morning, Shannon from Mississippi. <laughs> how are you? I so appreciate you guys all for joining today. Uh, I have a ton of fun doing this show. Uh, I've been on TikTok for the last, I don't know, 13, almost 13 months. Yeah, it's very hard to live in Chicago with a family. Uh, you got to have a lot of money. I mean, you got to have a lot of money in the suburbs. I rent this tiny little home. I rent. I'm uh, separated from my wife. We're going through a divorce. Uh, yeah. Uh, I rent a tiny little home. It's $1,750 per month. Yeah, I, I post. Do you, I hope you follow my page. You offer some insight that I like. I hope you all follow my page. I hope you all find some value from my ramblings, my coffee, my dog Holly, my thoughts on the stock market, my thoughts on substance abuse, anxiety, depression, Naperville, Chicago, the weather. Santa Claus. Leela, where have you been? I've missed you. Keith, I do not have plans yet for Christmas. Very likely, you asked that a little bit ago, I will be working. Uh, Augie's visit with Santa, I think, was good. Uh, it didn't go exactly as I planned. I had to cut out of church a little early, which honestly upset me. And because uh, Santa came early and I started getting messages uh, that I needed to bring him home sooner than I wanted. So I had to leave church and I got upset. I mean, not ragingly upset, but just kind of hurt. And uh, but I think he had a really nice time. I wasn't there, though. Somebody's named Sauerkraut just joined me. I did a video on Sauerkraut. That couldn't be a coincidence about two or three days ago. <laughs> I doubt it's a coincidence. That person might like sauerkraut more than me. <laughs> May have a little more coffee. I bet they don't like more coffee more than me. Hello, Christy. Thank you for joining. Good morning. It's so fun seeing my friends pop in. My little TikTok, my little social media friends. You're having sauerkraut for dinner? Uh, no, 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 no. It was in her house. I didn't. She would have let me in. I just didn't, wouldn't have felt comfortable. It was uh, Santa came to her house, Mary. Santa came to her house and she offered me to come in, but I just wouldn't have felt comfortable. I don't think we're there right now. Will you take Augie to visit Santa when he's with you? I do not know yet, Shannon. I do not know. I don't know. I don't know. Probably not, honestly. He's seen Santa. He's only a year and a half. You know, I don't know. I don't know. I'll love him in some way. I don't know. But I haven't really thought about it, maybe. But I don't think so. I think that's probably as, at least as much for the parents as it is for the year and a half year old. You know? And I don't know if it's anything I need to do. Maybe. I'm leaving my options open. But anyway, have a ton of fun on this platform. Have a ton of fun going live with you guys every uh, morning at 8. I'm going to warn you. I know you guys really rely on talking with me every morning uh, at 8 o'clock. On Wednesday, I'm not going to be here. I've got a therapy appointment. I've got a lot of issues I want to talk out, a lot of things I need to discuss. Uh, I've been going through a lot. I love my kid pics with Santa when I was little. Oh, yeah, no, I, I, got a, I already have a picture of him with Santa. Um, no, I agree, though, Nora. But... Uh, I've been going through a lot over the last year and a half. Do teach him. It's great for his age. I, I haven't, Leela. I haven't, Leela. Uh, I actually have a friend. I don't have any felonies. No, I do not have any felonies. But thank you for asking. Uh, I have not. Yeah. 
I've been going through a lot over the last year and a half. I got a neighbor that has a, uh, just has a, I don't know, a season pass or a membership to the, uh, 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 to the uh, DuPage Children's Museum. And uh, it's only open late on days that I don't have my son, but I would like to, I hear it's great. Honestly, I've never even been. I've never even been. I've lived in Naperville for 13 years and I got four kids and I've never been to the DuPage Children's Museum. Bad for me. Um, let's see. Oh, back in therapy. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, been trying to get back in. It's very hard. Uh, I've been to the Chris Kindle market in Naperville. Yeah, I do have to check it out. I've been to the Chris Kindle market when it was in Naperville and it is cool. Uh, really kind of neat, cute little ornaments and German music and hot chocolate and I don't know, sausages and probably sauerkraut, I would bet, given that it's German. But uh, um, it's kind of funny, and I talked about it the other day, but I'll talk about it again. I had a, oh, I got a ton of them test account. Uh, and uh, I wanted to, uh, uh, had a scheduled appointment at 5.30 on Friday night to see a, a therapist. I went there. It was dark. I had a hard time finding the place. Couldn't figure out what sweet number it was. It was kind of rainy. It seemed a little late and dark for a therapy appointment. Got into the office, was sitting around, looking around 10 minutes early, you know, and I waited for like 20 minutes past. And apparently uh, she'd left the uh, therapy company or the firm or whatever it's called and wasn't going to be there. And I, like I said on this morning's video, I almost cried because I had so much stuff I wanted to get off my chest and share. And the woman that runs the company apparently is a therapist and she scheduled me for Wednesday at eight o'clock. Therefore, I won't be live with you on Wednesday morning. I would rather eat sauerkraut raw too. I don't know that I've ever had it cooked. Is cooked what comes in a jar? Is that cooked? I love the stuff out of a jar. I can take a fork and eat that bad boy straight. I could put it on a hot dog bun, like I said the other day, and it'd be a sour dog. I uh, love brown mustard. think it makes everything good. Uh, no, Shannon, we, uh, no. No, just heated is cooked. Okay, yeah, no, my, uh, my sauerkraut then is not heated. Uh, I don't know. I maybe could eat it heated. I could eat it heated. But, um, yeah, no, I, cold's fine for me. Let me have a little more coffee. See if anyone comes up with any interesting conversations. My page is growing really nicely. It excites me. I have fun doing these videos. Uh, I've been posting a lot of clips from these live videos and a lot of them are getting a lot of traction. I talked about gambling and substance abuse and anxiety and depression and happiness and sadness. And I think my content is starting to reach people and starting to resonate with a nice size audience and my page is starting to go pretty quickly. Um, I think most issues are stemming from my from childhood test account, probably, but I'll have to ask the therapist about that. Um, and it's growing kind of quickly and I'm growing over on, uh, the other video, uh, social media platform. Yeah. Mary, I don't think, I think we got bigger issues than that. I think we got bigger issues than that. I think we have a very horrid relationship and I think, I don't even know why it ever happened. I know why it happened. We were very passionate, but passion doesn't make a relationship. Well, I'm glad Mary. Yeah, I'm sure it's good for people. Uh, I think we both have issues that we need to work out separately. Uh, helicopter. I would be scared to go up in a helicopter. I would be scared. My palms are getting sweaty just thinking about taking a helicopter. I mean, I'm scared in planes. I'd be really scared in a helicopter. The Grand Canyon's beautiful. I, live, I went there once. I lived in California for, I don't know, eight months or something in the early 90s. And I decided it wasn't for me. Drove back and spent a night at the Grand Canyon and it was every bit as spectacular as I could imagine it would be. I mean, it's amazing. It's amazing. It does not disappoint at all. At all. Somewhere, 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 there's pictures of me with blonde hair <laughs> hanging out. I think I, my girlfriend was with me at the time. Jennifer was her name. Hanging out with the Grand Canyon behind us. And they're really spectacular pictures just because, I mean, she was nice looking and 
I was me with hair, whatever that is. But the Grand Canyon as a backdrop is phenomenal. Is phenomenal. So uh, I'm going to drink a little more coffee. Mm. Uh, oh, again, I was talking about the page. In the last week, I've had Starbucks follow me and comment on my page and send me a direct message, which felt really cool. I had Home Run In Pizza hop on my page and say a comment or two, and that felt really cool. I think I'm doing some right things and touching the right people and getting in front of, yeah, Mary, uh, getting in front of the right audience uh, that something really good's happening. And not only here, but on the uh, uh, other social media. How do I believe I think I could do? Uh, they actually, it wasn't like an employment opportunity. They're offering, I mean, they sent me a gift card and said, uh, uh, they want me to be like a goodwill ambassador and do a video. Uh, yeah, no, we've chatted a little bit. Oh, mafia, dude, try the home run in. Seriously. I, again, try that home run in. I, mafia, I don't even remember. I don't even know what your real name is, but I'll just call you mafia. I appreciate uh, that you bought a Home Run in Pizza. I did a video with Home Run in Pizza. It is the best. Frozen. It's phenomenal. It's phenomenal. I don't want to overhype it because then usually when you overhype something, you'll be disappointed. But I mean, it tastes every bit as good as a quality pizza on the road. And I'm in Chicago, so I think I know a little bit about good pizza. Yes, I do drink my coffee black, Nancy. And it's phenomenal. I mean, I get the sausage and pepperoni. I mean, if you get the cheese, it might be a little boring. I don't think cheese pizza is great of anything. All right, that's cool. I'll call you mafia then too. Are you Italian? It's funny, somebody, I did a video on gambling the other day and uh, uh, one of my TikTok friends said, uh, gambling doesn't kill anybody. And... I don't know. One thing I'm learning on is I don't have to engage in... Ooh, ooh, I don't even like pineapple. Uh, okay, King Marky, good. From gambling. Um, and I responded to her, well, you should see the movie Casino if you think gambling doesn't kill anybody. Uh, yeah. Uh, but anyway, one thing I'm trying to... Hello, Dennis. I'm trying to learn is... Uh, yeah. Is... Uh, that I don't need to engage uh, with everybody that comments. Because, you know, and occasionally some people, Maestro. I remember Maestro on Seinfeld. Hey, way to go, Nancy. Way to go. Way to go, Nancy. Woohoo. Uh, Nancy, I'm just over a year. I'm over 13 months. I'm almost 14 months, actually. Uh, yeah, I don't understand. What are you guys talking about? Pineapple on pizza. I mean, that's cool. You guys do you. I just can't imagine it. I can't imagine it. Besides sausage and pepperoni, I like like black olives are great, I think. I love black olives. And uh, mushrooms are okay. But honestly, mushrooms don't do much. Don't have much taste on a pizza. They don't even have a ton of consistency. They just kind of slide down with the cheese and you barely know they're there. You know... I don't think I have, Mary. I don't know that I'm that anxious to try. I may have had a slice with pineapple. I'm not a huge pineapple fan. Yeah, I don't really love pineapple. All right. I mean, maybe, I mean, obviously tastes vary. And my tastes probably aren't your taste, but I'm not a huge pineapple fan. Have you had anchovies on pizza? Have you had anchovies on pizza? They're salty as heck. Hey, Rob the Builder, sent, thank you for sending me roses. It's so fun. Every once in a while, somebody, maybe I am married. Maybe uh, every once in a while, somebody will send me like a diamond or something like that or roses or something. And TikTok alerts me to the, what do they say, transaction things. And I've gotten $5 once. And so I appreciate every penny. But usually they say you earn three cents today. Or something like that. And I always find that kind of funny. You know. Like if I go live every day. And if I earn three cents a day. That's a thousand cents in a year. Or 
1095, but who's counting? And, uh, you know, almost $11. <laughs> so, I don't know. <laughs> I'll take $11. A year of work to do it, but uh, no, I don't do that for the uh, those sort of things. But I do do it to joint, grow my page. I think when I go live every day, you know, five people always follow me every day and my page grows a little bit and it puts my regular videos in front of a large, yeah, it is Shannon, in front of a larger audience and I enjoy it because I think some of my, I hope some of my videos have some meaning to people that are watching. Uh, yes, I did, Nora. Thank you. Again, I talked about it before. Um, I think math is, uh, uh, did you check me on that, Nora? I think I'm right, but I did do it off the top of my head. I think math is just something that's always made sense to me. I think our brains work differently. It doesn't mean I'm smarter than anybody. Uh, I think we all have strengths and weaknesses. And I've met very intelligent people that couldn't add seven plus eight without a calculator. And I'm going, what the heck's going on? And I think just the way our brains work, you know, I think just the way our brains work, like some wires... Yeah, no, I mean, Nora, no shame. I've dated some smart women that couldn't add, like, if I asked what a quarter plus a quarter is, they wouldn't know the answer. And I'm going, well, how does that happen? Um, so I, I just think our brains work differently, and I think we're all gifted in our own ways. And for some reason, math's always come to me. I can look at numbers uh, and put them together, and they usually come out right. Usually. I was really good at flashcards. I used to go around my class. Do you guys remember flashcards? I always liked flashcards because I was really good. And, uh, I don't know. I used to, I talk a lot, obviously. And somebody would flash like, I don't know, seven times eight. And I'd go seven times eight, 56. And I'd almost speak it through. And I switched to a new school named Bel Air in Downers Grove in fifth grade, which is hard. Uh, transferring, uh, um, schools. I, it was hard for me. I was, you know, I thought I was pretty popular in my one grade school and I switched to another one. And all of a sudden I was with totally new kids and I felt like an outsider a little bit. And <laughs> I remember playing flashcards and doing my 56, you know, because for some reason I used to talk it out. Thank you for sharing the pay, sharing the live, Nancy. Uh, and Mr. Mueller, my fifth grade teacher, thought I was doing it to distract the kids. And he sent me out of the competition. <laughs> I'll have to talk that out with my therapist. No, I've gotten past that. I've gotten past that. I don't have any major issues with my schooling or my education <laughs> or anything like that. I just have a lot of issues, and I think we probably all do. Uh, but I have a lot of issues that I think are uh, really need to be resolved before I can move forward. A lot of issues that are holding me back in relationships and, you know, financially and career-wise and, uh, you know, just happiness and peace-wise and some stuff I got to get off my chest and uh, uh, stuff that I need to get off my chest. And I'm really looking forward to going in on Wednesday and... Uh, 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 talking it out. I hope the woman's nice. She seemed nice on the phone. She seemed nice on the phone. I was so appreciative. Final test advice. Final for what? I do not understand your question, Blake. Final test. Will the divorce be final soon? That will help. Uh, I don't... I think we have some stuff we got to resolve. Yeah, no, my new therapist will. I was on the phone with her. Oh, uh, I, no. Uh, no, I don't have any final test advice. Good luck. <laughs> don't get caught cheating. <laughs> uh, no, I don't know. No, it's been a while since I've been in calculus. Um, no, I mean, it could be resolved really soon. But honestly, I don't think, I think if we resolved it soon without working through some issues, I think that might be unhealthy in the long run. I think we got to work through some issues and again, uh, get some stuff sorted out before we, you know, I guess I don't know what the best thing is. And again, I, maybe I'll talk it out with the therapist and they'll offer me some advice. Uh, yeah, well, good. I'm glad you don't. Like, I just don't want you to get expelled. 
Imagine getting expelled from school. That'd be hard. No. So I talked almost half an hour. I never know. Uh, yeah, but some past stuff has to... I mean, there's some fresh past that has to... Yeah, well, just moving forward would be zero contact. And honestly, I think that's, you know. Yeah, no, it has, Lila. I appreciate you saying that. Lila, you live it locally. Oh, God is good, King. God is good. And it's funny, I say that. I've developed a faith, even though it might not be an inner belief to my core that there is even a God, but I go to school or church every Sunday now and it helps me a lot. Oh, I should buy you a cup of coffee someday. I wish I had a mug left. I'd give you one. I was giving these out to local people. Have we ever met? I had a woman run into me at church. People run into me all the time and go, hey, I see you on this or that. (laughs) Feels kind of good. But uh, yeah, I have been going to church and getting a lot out of it. I primarily go just because the people are kind and working on themselves and the it feels good and it's a great way to start your Sunday. But I think some of it's starting to drip into my soul. And last night I was up during the night and uh, uh, struggling a little bit and I found myself praying and that helped me a little bit. I used to get your, I used to go to Yellow Box. Yeah, I was there yesterday. Yeah. You guys are so awesome. You guys are so awesome. Thank you so much for following my page. I usually like to keep these around half an hour. I always have to go, have, I get to go through them again and edit them out and make clips and repost and grow my page. I really hope you guys enjoy our time together. I hope you tune in tomorrow at 8 o'clock. And uh, yeah, it is. Uh, tune in tomorrow at 8. I hope you follow my page. I hope you enjoy my videos. I hope you find them entertaining, educational. Uh, funny sometimes, sometimes emotional, because, you know, i got a bunch of videos where I cry. <laughs> I do. You guys should watch my three pinned videos. I think they're all really good. One's about my son, one's about me, my drinking, and one is about my brother, Steve. If you have some time, I bet it'd be 10 minutes well spent if you watched all three of them. Uh, so I'm going to leave you with that. It's Monday morning. I know I got a lot of stuff I need to get done today, and I'm looking forward to it. Leela. Have I done this? I'm going to follow you, but you got to like a private page. Oh, you're following 16 people now. Good for you. I'm going to follow you. Oh, you've got a private account, Leela. If you want to communicate with me, follow me back and we can chat. Um, what's good, Joy? Joy, you're just popping in. I'm saying goodbye and you're just popping in. I forgot even what's good. I forget even what's good. But anyway, I so appreciate Starbucks. They do. I know. I know, I know, I know. I'm excited about that. I think this is going to lead to something, an opportunity. I think I could be a good spokesperson if I'm being genuine, and I love Starbucks. I don't know. Starbucks should put me on some dang commercials. I don't even know if Starbucks does commercials. Maybe that's the wrong one. Or home run in pizza. Home run in pizza. I got Mafia to buy a home run in pizza the other day. I'm a great salesman if I believe it. Like the yellow box. I could get people to go to the yellow box in Naperville all day. Uh, Because I believe it. I think it's good people uh, trying to better themselves. And I'm not thumping the Bible when I say that. I just think it's a good place to spend your Sunday morning. So, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'll be an evangelist of some sort. But anyway, it's Monday morning. I'm excited about my day. I hope you enjoyed our time together. I'm going to be live tomorrow at 8 o'clock. I hope you follow my... I hope you enjoy my videos. I hope you get something. It's, I don't know, laughter or tears or happiness or maybe just not feeling so alone because I know a lot of us struggle with feeling alone from time to time. So uh, I want to thank you guys for joining. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day and I hope you're loving yourself. I hope you are uh, forgiving yourself. And as always, I hope to talk to you real soon. Bye-bye.